To charge up your Steel Series Nimbus wireless controller, we're going to be using the charger that you get with your iPhone or your iPad. We're going to plug it into a power supply and then the lightning connector needs to go into the top port here. Doesn't matter which way round it goes. Now you can see right now that we've still just got one light lit up, although this is currently charging. We can't tell because it's paired up with the iPad down here. So to see what's happening with the charging, we do have to turn the controller off. And then when we turn it off, you can see that the lights have now changed. We have three solid lights with one flashing light. Each of these lights represents 25% of charge. So this controller is 75% full of charge and it's charging the last 25%. If there was only half the charge in the controller, these two lights would be lit up. If there was only 25% charge, only that light would be lit up and these three would be flashing. So if it was completely depleted, it would take about three hours to charge up depending on the charger you're using. And when all the lights go out, that indicates that the controller is fully charged. Thanks for watching.